Hello and welcome back to yet another session of the Core Apocalyptic Stream. I got Chris back on the stream. Chris, thank you so much and welcome uh, back to our episode number seven, I think it is. The last time, no, it's actually number six. The last time you and I were fighting against a swarm of loss and we just barely survived, had a couple of extra losses along the way. If we look maybe as a starter for this campaign, at our uh, roster of foreign soldiers. Uh, most of the foreign soldiers are actually in my camp. Ranman, Quickfeet, and Mike the Public Bravo are down. You lost uh, Ivan Petrov, and we're four soldiers down. What's your uh, thought about the current campaign status? It's obviously all your fault. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of dire. I'm just going to trust in what you said in regards to the game uh, somewhat compensating for someone screwing up as badly as, uh, well, we tend to do so far. And, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to one of the next missions, I believe, uh, potentially having one of those uh, super uh, aliens in it, one of the chosen. Oh, yeah. Again, since I think we're getting out of the grace period. Yep, we are past the grace period now, so it's very likely that the Chosen will show up again. All right. Anyways, I hand it over to you. You're responsible for the strategy layer. If you want any questions, feel free to do them. Uh, as always, I won't, uh, for those who are turning, uh, tuning in lately, I will not guide Chris in any way. He's uh, the master of disaster in the strategy layer. And when it comes to the tactical layer, him and I will uh, share uh, um, the soldiers. I take the red ones, he takes the blue ones. Uh, the trick is that I cannot communicate with him during the mission, so it's kind of a blind play. I can hear him talk, but he can't hear me. Good. Uh, the floor is yours, Chris. What are we doing? Yeah, it's an entirely new uh, way of playing uh, red versus blue. <laughs> him trying to uh, fix my uh, my scrubs. Um, I think we had a quick look at the uh, at the soldiers right earlier and the amount of um, of injured. So uh, the first plan would be to just scan a little bit there and, and speed up that that healing process and let the other stuff tick down. I'm gonna guess that the guerrilla uh, school is gonna. Whoops. It's a little uh, bit fast. I don't know why that happened. Um... Fascinating. Let me try and maneuver not with the mouse. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks better with WASD. All right. Okay, perfect. Um, what was it? Templar, heal faster. Oh, now it actually says build faster. So that's nice. So, yeah, I'm just going to heal a little bit and basically wait for the GTS. Yeah. <clears throat> which I exactly. uh, hope will be, mm -hmm. will be done before anything else pops up. There we go. Cool. Go Good, perfect. You now got the G uh, GTS uh, facility, and we already talked a bit about that. Uh, it allows you to train your soldiers. So yeah, already making me feel guilty for skipping my workout. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, you got to select up there. Uh, ah, there we go. Yeah, exactly. Nice. It uh, doesn't matter which we pick, right? Correct. Uh, none of these seem to be any particular names, so I'm just gonna. Grab the German dude there. Specialized setting squad of a specific class, unavailable for combat. That's just in general, right? Yeah, that is just in general. Okay, okay, okay. Now you can pick All the right. class. What do we what do we need? Uh, do you recall what we got killed? Uh, I do believe we still have two specialists. We correct. did get a sharpshooter killed. We did get a ranger killed, I believe, as well. Uh, so I would assume we probably need uh, another ranger or another sharpshooter. All right. So I believe we did get one back. Mm -hmm. um, ba -ba -ba -ba. From past experience, I always felt like Ranger might be a better idea early on. Or another Grenadier, but I do believe we... Did we have two Grenadiers? Refresh my memory. Uh, I think we got one killed, if I am not mistaken. You can All always... right, we need more grenades. Yeah, you... yeah, let's start with the Grenadier then. You can always go into the armory and check uh, just how many um, soldiers we have. So by clicking on the armory, exactly, under view soldiers, and then uh, order by class. So Sense. we do have one ranger, one grenadier, which is uh, perfectly reasonable to take another one, two sharpshooters, and two specialists. Perfect. We need more grenades. Good. 
Yeah, crap, I could have used that. Um, wait, there was a research as well. Uh, research you see on the right-hand yeah. side happens in the next four days. No, 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 I mean the uh, on the GTS. Oh, yeah, I see what yeah. you mean. That's down there? Down here, right? Correct. Let's see how those sort of work. Okay, it's too many supplies, basically. Yeah, but, but there is... Uh, a hundred? That is actually yeah. not a bad thing. Uh, it tells you now if you can uh, muster a hundred supplies, uh, we could purchase plus one squad size. That would be pretty neat. Um, but I also want to make sure we get at least one soldier back. Oops. I need to not use left mouse button on this. Does not like me at all. <laughs> um, the three days is like up until the next one or until it expires? No, they don't expire. I told you the oh, last time. The if you, that are left, yeah. yeah, if you wait until the next supply drop, which happens in five days, you will get the next supply drop on top of the current supply drop. So it's just more supplies, which means you effectively save days because you, again, only need to scan three days. That That's is it. one uh, quote-unquote tiny trick. But it means that we also don't have an upgrade for our squad size yet. It's kind that of the trade-off. Well, let's uh, quickly continue this. So we have one more soldier ready. COVID action, 11 days. Two days for the cash. We'll keep healing for now. All right. Let's and then um, after this is done, let's see what we can do. That is, by the way, 131 intel. intel, which is awesome. Uh, really good. It, it does look like a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's like doubling what we have currently. Yes. Oh, boy. Sounding, researching. Oh, that's like for building space. That yeah, would so it be would neat. allow us... Um, oh, it's just one of them now. We would trade in 10 days of research for essentially excavating something immediately. Which would usually be 15 days, I believe, at this point. Yeah, on the, on the other side, you could say it runs in parallel. So essentially, you're shifting away uh, research resources uh, in order to speed up the building portion. That and of course you also get a large influx of uh, of uh, resources. Exactly. As well. Yeah. Mm, that is a bit of a tough one. Um, I do feel like we're a bit behind on research potentially, and uh, it's probably gonna have to be one of the others. Okay. Just trying to think here. Like I really don't enjoy things that are like red thirty two days. So. Uh -huh. mm. I'm just going to pick the one with the star. Hopefully I can't go wrong with that. That is storyline mission. Uh, so that's what the game recommends you to do. And normally it is not a bad uh, choice. So with that, we would get uh, resi um, um, resistance towers, which allow we us can, to Yeah, we can like further. get resources, right? Yes, we can expand faster. Good stuff. So two days for the resource drop. Um, dang it. <laughs> Every time, every time I try to click on the map. Um, <laughs> um, was the flight time like relevant to travel? I mean, well, time's already yeah, it will be about four hours, four to six hours from any location to another one. Mm, I see. Let's see also and for more. your info, what you just researched, just so you're clear. Um, but before we go to that, what you just researched is the prerequisite of making contact to a new region. So you have now, or you are currently researching the technology that allows us to expand. Uh, this here is another facility. So the game is now putting in additional pressure on us. That facility will uh, generate blips um, in the avatar project. You see on top That's there, nice. another blip. The problem with mm -hmm. the facilities for your info is the more facilities are running, the more parallel progress will be made. So it's cumulative. I see. Mm -hmm. well. mm -hmm. One more day until the supply drop happens. Is it a full day? It's usually a full day, yeah. Yes, I was hoping but you can it start, just, you uh, can start take over just about now. Oh, look at that high priority mission. That is awesome. 
it's kind of really close to the end of uh, the month. And those high priority missions are usually very, very lucrative. Uh, this that here would offer, lucrative. yeah, this would offer us yeah. an engineer, almost a hundred intel, a corporal sharpshooter, and a corporal ranger. This is the jackpot, the mother of all um, of all missions. But it also has the losts. <laughs> uh, leave leave no mission untaken. I mean, yeah, that's true. Let's head right there. Indeed. Wow, great that we bothered leaving. <laughs> Good, let me shortly um, set together the team. So uh, we do have a specialist on the mission. We do have a sharpshooter on the mission. Um, and as you can see, you've put two of our guys onto the covert mission. Everyone else is sort of wounded. Uh, so we're um, at the end of the day left with two further rookies. Um, I would say, in all fairness, uh, every single one of us gets one rookie, and that's kind this of... This one of your pre-made ones? Uh, that is... Uh, uh, St. Elliot is one of the pre-made uh, ones, yes. Very good. Then I agree that one should be red. Yeah, so far I killed all of uh, the pre-made ones, so... Uh, you should have picked a different color than red, I guess. <laughs> oh, you mean because of uh, Star Trek, the red... Uh, the exactly. Red yeah, the good old red shirts. I think they weren't aware when they were doing Star Wars uh, that that becomes such a meme, but it was so unbelievably predictable. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of expect it in every episodic show, no? Yeah, true. Okay, so um, let's do a bit of um, an equipment. You get the med kit um, with the corporal here, so you can heal from afar, which is great. You also get the best rifle, uh, which means uh, you have a carry. Um, I will have a sniper over here. Um, by the way, we could have a weapon upgrade. Just double checking. Ah, we do have a scope. That's maybe you uh, you want to decide whether or not we want to use that. I think that is very reasonable on a sniper rifle. Yeah. Uh, there, the pre-made rifle, uh, the one that we got from the L, um, from the DLC, oh, yeah. already got, as you can see on the right hand side here, a scope mm, installed. Yeah. Um, so that's why she wouldn't need it as much, but we can install it on one of the weapons from the rookie, i.e. over here. That weapon gets a nice little, um, a nice little uh, scope, and now you got yourself a modified weapon. We do have, I think, no funds available. The only thing that we could build is a smoke grenade. But you might want to save the funds for now. Okay, so I feel like I want the flashbang grenade, considering just how hard Psionic screwed us so far. <laughs> yes, very much so. Okay, so unfortunately, if... we have no money yet. Yeah, but... we, we we will get it next month. We are going to be leverage leverishly rich. How about we're starting with that? It's moderately difficult. That is telling us a lot of enemies are going to be there, but most of them are going to be. Uh, the losts. And as always, guys, uh, this is where I will mute myself on our little voice app, and Chris and I uh, will no longer be able to communicate. So let's see how well we're going to do. All right, and we are about to land. I am now I muted. Can't see anything. Uh, Chris is huh? uh, essentially no, it's all right. Um, all right. by himself. <clears throat> Typical ending. Help on Saiken's recording. It looks a bit better. My end is just choppy as hell. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that is the typical okay. landing. It doesn't look much better on my side either. Anyways. So the camera seems to be working, and I believe even the mouse is responding, so that's very good. Um, let me try and figure out where we're going. So over here. It's a VIP, and then we just have to keep going to actually get to the extraction. All right. What is uh, this down here? That's the other. Fascinating. That's the other. We'll person. find out later. Um, I really hate going through buildings. That is like the worst. Um, but might have no other choice. 
So let's move one of them just over here. Ah, he's now See moving if we can my... spot anything. Oh, that's yours, wasn't it? Fantastic. I'm very sorry. Gotta get back into the groove. <laughs> A <laughs> little bit of um, rust we haven't played for a while. In between this recording and the last, it had been a bit. Um, yeah, let's let's go up here. I love it. He's taking aggressive moves. I gave him that as a feedback. He's adapting already. Okay. And then what I could tell... This is a very similar map to the other one that we had. It's True that. Great, but it looks like she is like all the way up as well. So it might be good to be uh, higher up. But it was an issue with the ladders last time, but it appears that it's this particular square that would block people from going up. Yep, I told him about mm. uh, the ladder blocking off the. Let's loss. just go here for the moment. And. Overwatch. All right, he's doing some Overwatch. Uh, let's pull our soldiers up here and give it a go. We're aggressively moving up. We know that there is no one upstairs. Let's see what the enemy has to say. See, this is just a weird movement. <laughs> To me, at least. You know what it does tell me that uh, should be a bit more, uh, a bit more courageous. Where I go? Oh, be careful! You're breaking a window. Uh, how does one do waypoints? I guess. What was that? Nothing, I guess. Alright. Now we'll go here. Ah, that's our concealment. Should have told him how to do waypoints. Really? Well, I learned something new today, which is that actually does break concealment. I thought that would just alert things. If they are nearby. Ah, this. There even was an open window. I'm a bit upset by this. It's all right, Chris. Don't feel too bad about it. I'm. Uh, we all know. We all have been there. It's a learning process with XCOM 2. That's for sure. Um, so we want to go through this door here, and there is another opening over here. Okay, good. So. Let's move through the door. Don't split the group too much. Instead, we're moving up. And we don't need to be too aggressive over here either. No point in proving anything. We can simply overwatch. That's downstairs. He probably doesn't know, but... Uh, we're not in danger at this point. The only thing that could happen is that Advent essentially uh, puts a patrol that kind of moves up here for whatever reason. I'm going to assume they're probably not going to hit each other while they're not in our line of sight. So, let's see. This should be a pretty That's safe a good spot place if to go. Picks it. Very good. Um, there was a door here, yeah. So, as far as I can tell, nobody can see in here. That is true. And if there was anybody in this room, we probably would have spotted them. Here. I love it. Chris always plays careful. That's good. That's a good trade for an XCOM player. Better Nothing be there. safe than sorry. Hmm. 
mildly lost as to how to best uh, jump into one of those rooms. Um, <laughs> position myself not exactly at the door, so you have a bit more space. Set up your positioning. Very good. And then uh, it's your turn. That'll be a fast one. We're taking positions right next to the door. We have a visual confirmation on the VIP. Good. It's going to get a bit more intense soon. As soon as we get the VIP, things will heat up. All right. The obvious question is, can there be aliens in the same room as the VIP? Well, Let me open the door for him. You're about to answer that question. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, that is a no. Let's see. There are some windows over here, so... Hopefully it doesn't heat it. Hopefully just move it doesn't to... go for the balcony. Can we really do anything else if we mess it up? Potentially, we could run back out again, so let's have a look. That's a bit of a troll move. If he overwatch is there, no one else can enter okay. the room. Okay. <laughs> he would block Nothing everyone. Revealed. That is good. Um, so this guy's just going to hide over here for now. And then our friend. Since we shouldn't be under any pressure, I really want to put him here, but I fear like, that I might nah, there's no pull something there, from up here or downstairs. So don't worry, they are right underneath uh, us. Or through that opening, of course. So can we go here? Do another little watch. All right. So a couple of uh, things. Uh, as soon as we go into that uh, area. Uh, we're actually going to trigger and need to go there. However, there is still down here. There is still. Sorry about that. So... I think I clicked the uh, shortcut for Discord mute. All right. So down here, there is still another. Uh, there is still another um, VIP. Trying to find where the last VIP is at um, because there are two additional targets. Not here, not here, not here, not here either. Hmm. Are you cheating to find the other people we need to rescue? I'm sort of cheating by that there is one here. And that's pretty much it. All right. Um, so let's position ourselves over here. Move into position. And we're overwatching. Next up, let's try to get the guy downstairs. Unfortunately, we don't have concealment anymore. Elsewise, it would be a no-brainer to uh, to go for the balcony. Oh boy! <clears throat> Alrighty, so this guy's kind of screwed in regards to getting anywhere, but he can move forward. Could go over there. Let's do that. All right, that triggers our next few steps okay had a bit of lag there secure any additional operatives if possible but make sure you get our contacts to the evac point ah and now they actually showed them to you that's it's nice so this one you had spotted i believe that is the two others and uh, I believe that's it. We only had two additional operatives here, not three. So my plan would be to take All right. um, the balcony. Um, I really don't want to go over here. I feel like we're going to 
pull something considering they were not in this room over here. Um, I also don't know how close to the window I can go before uh, it reveals a pulse. So not, not yet. Gonna keep him there for a moment, okay. and I'm going to move you. Let me see. You were quite cautious, I believe, over here, not to like see down. So I'm a bit afraid of going here. So instead, we're going to move to nowhere. Uh, please take one of your turns. Okay, good. So let's take a look with the sniper. Uh, this here would be, good, be a good one, but that opens up the entirety of the downstairs area. So instead, we're going to stand up here and take a look whether or not uh, we can find uh, loss down there and the answer is we can what a surprise uh, they can only come up to here which means I am going to block the ladder <coughs> and now it's time for some shooting Uh, <laughs> he's actually standing right here I take the liberty of using the VIP hunkering down overwatch and overwatch my turn is done if that was one of our soldiers that was not the guy downstairs or was it? No, no, that's him. Okay. Thought for a moment you had like controlled the uh, guy we just we we're supposed to rescue. <clears throat> so there's some lost downstairs. You should go onto the balcony and just finish them. Uh, I wish I could tell which way the ladder comes up. I think it's over here, so I can't block it with this guy. I can't block it in general for some reason. That's because oh, I'm already standing there. Um, can't really go anywhere um, and keep Overwatch going. So we're gonna go to the window. Sorry, camera is messing with me. Um, and there we go. Very nice. That's and a good. Hope that we can oh, that's get a good something while well. it comes like up, it. maybe. <clears throat> and then, yeah, you're kind of screwed. There's another thing coming up here, so I really don't want to be too close to this, so we're just going to overwatch. Alright, generally not bad. I Since think as far as I recall, they can climb ladders. There's an extra swarm of losts, just to make it a bit more difficult. Could you just, you know, keep filling up the map? If you take too long. Because that makes me... Oops. Twice sorry for uh, having messed up our stealth. <laughs> Chris is twice as sorry. Well, it indeed is a... It indeed is a problem. Uh, the longer you take, the more loss will spawn. Oh, it's true. But, on the other hand, you better be safe than sorry. Wow, frame rate is dropping quite a bit. It's uh, impressive vision. Because I'm pretty sure he shot that guy through the wall. That's uh, your guy, is it? Yeah. Right, hopefully I could see better. 
Um, that is four targets over here, so that should be a decent shooting spot. How do we get over there? Kind of need to go down at some point, it seems. That is true. Okay. That is oh. true. Oh yeah, I forgot. These guys don't actually shoot you back, so we can stand wherever the hell we want. So, three, three, three. That's four again. I'll stand here then. He stands right next to the guitar. Let's see what Arthur see what Lambert is get. going to do. That's decent hit chances, I would say. Already leveled up. All right. Almost a waste. But I'm getting the impression we're not going to run out of targets anytime soon. Oh, one more shot, I'll reload. And we're going to take one more shot. That was a bad choice. <laughs> Uh, all right, Kelly Cole is the uh, MVP. Mm. Can't tell if there was any loss down here. There were plenty, Chris. Um, Don't you worry. One's a three HP one. That one's a four HP one. So, gonna take a shot at the uh, four HP guy first. Just quickly checking again. Maybe we can. Stand, nope, nope, nope. I mean, we could, but then we couldn't move ourselves. So I'm gonna move to over here. Chris is playing it well. Uh, mm, I... Why am I now seeing this guy again? <clears throat> oh, I approve his choices. <clears throat> the stun lancers, on the other hand, uh, that is. Also, a big do I problem. know these guys? Let me see. Because uh, that's a lot of health. Yep, um, that is a big problem. Come on, Cameron. What is this? That, my friend, is called a stun lance. Oh, fuck off. And that is called a suicidal misclick. Yeah, apparently right-clicking uh, moves you. Mm. Well, I suppose uh, the mission just got a bit more interesting. Not gonna lie, this game has some of the worst fucking UI <laughs> imaginable. Also, that's a lot of enemies. <laughs> oh. Well, we uh, successfully pulled the entire map. Um... Yeah, so let's see. I mean, we could go up to here, but uh, that might not be good enough. Could we move down here? Yes, we could. Problem is. The problem is we're in a in a world of pain already. We could move up to here, free her, then shoot this guy. Not sure if I want to do that, to be honest. Nice here is developing into a pretty dire situation. Can't stand inside. We could drop down here. That is an option, kind of to support uh, him. Rolling. Now that the cat is out of the bag, there isn't much holding back if we're just standing up there. That's 
we're going to be in a world of pain anyways. Okay, so let's try and see if I can somehow salvage that. This guy down here is a big problem, massive one. Could go up to here, much better position, but unfortunately very exposed. The guy down here is a problem, way too many hit points. Way too many hit points. Okay, so, a couple of things. Number one. So, we could try to get this here. Not the worst idea. Could try to get this here. Not the worst idea either. Hmm. We could try to m move her up here into safety. I think we're going to do that. So we ca could position ourselves up here on position now. and now it's time to get rid of a couple of losts. So no, no, yes. This guy here needs to die, that's a big problem. The grenade will definitely do that. Downstairs hit could do it. Still got Sane left over. That could be an overwatch, but we would be freeing up this position so that another one of them can come up. Instead, let's reload with Sane. Try to overwatch. And... This might kill him. 50-50 chance. Not quite. Not optimal. I'm the first one to admit that. We're trying to do a lot in just one round. There we go. Good old mind control. Classic. Classic mind control. And a couple of shots, uh, maybe, just maybe, our specialist will even survive because there are enough losts as alternative targets. And there we go. Unbelievable. Unbeffing leaveable. Now it's time for the loss. Let's see if they are retaliating. Please don't tell me the worst misclick ever leads to both the loss and the aliens completely ignoring the guy standing out in the open. Because that would be extremely silly. Well, a couple of things happen here. First, we're being invaded by the loss. <laughs> More wall bangs. Oh, Alright, that's good. That's a start. Oh, that's unfortunately a miss. That is melee vulnerability at its finest. The other guy. You need to hit the other guy. Yeah, 
Dang it. 